this coon still open in his mouth? Oh, every time I turn around, another coon is opening his mouth. Kodak Black is still talking problematic, dumb mess on my timeline, on my news feed, once again. I thought if we had gave him a piece last week and we had educated him on his blackness, we, I, I thought, I really thought that after the conversation, maybe he'll understand where we were coming from, from the comments and stuff we made about blackness being beautiful, all, you know, colors of the spectrum, everything. Girl, no, 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 no. If he could say that he likes skinny women, if he prefers skinny women more than a more chubby, heavy set women. He could say that and nobody won't get mad at him. I just said I don't like women with my complexion. I like light skinned women. I want you to be lighter than me. I love African American women, but I just don't like my skin complexion. Okay, okay. Well, I like your skin complexion. We too gutter. Black, black people, my, my complexion, we too gutter. Light skinned women, they more sensitive, you know? There's some dark skinned women out here sensitive. <laughs> nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah, they too tough. They too tough. Light skinned women, we could break them down more easy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. We shot out of Chaney TV, we already know Florida, we in the bed of time. Sniper gang. Thank you. He thought he was going to clarify what he said and say that black women, you know, are good. I love African-American women, but you know, I just feel like light-skinned women, you know, it's easy to break them down. You know, it's too many strong, dark-skinned women out here. It's not even fun. I'm laughing because he's an idiot. I'm laughing because he's an idiot and he just doesn't know any better. And he compared, you know, not talking to a dark-skinned woman to, you know, well, I don't like skinny women. I don't like chubby women. You know, that's what people say that, you know, they don't get no flat. You comparing, you know, yes, maybe on some way a little bit, you know, people can discriminate on people based off of, you know, certain looks and stuff. But when we come to colorism and how someone looks and blackness, and that's some of the stuff that has been, you know, taught to us to make us not like our blackness. Like, that's a lot to do with, you know, you know, whiteness. Like, the lighter your skin and the closer the whiteness you are, the Eurocentric beauty, all that type of stuff. And it's so much, it's so much problematic stuff with that. It just makes in no sense at all, like how dare you, as dark as you are, sit up here and say that you don't date dark skinned women look like you like that. Like you've like you've dated every dark skinned black woman on the planet and you know, everyone that you have came into experience with, they always too strong for you and they what like and what kind of what type of compliment, like what type of, you know, thing is that oh you don't want you don't want to talk to them because they're too strong? Like that then even then that's thinking is stupid. So you're just saying that the light skinned people are just oh they they you know they they, they just go with the plan, they go what I say and it's easy to break them down. Like that's just I just don't like it at all and it makes me feel completely uncomfortable girl I can't even start the beginning of my video off talking and being positive off this good weekend because I'm going watching this video that you have done and you just spewing this foolishness and as it's crunk and you right here looking like the charcoal that I put on my teeth to clean the, the, the stains and stuff out my teeth but yet you are a stain on a, the black race <laughs> like saying stuff like that and there's a lot of people I'm glad that Kodak I'm glad that Kodak Black came out here and said it because when he said it it really showed me how many people think like him when they started talking about the conversation of colorism I always love to talk about the you know colorism I always that's one of my go-to things because it's something I experienced um, growing up and that's something that you know was you know was was kind of like like those behaviors that I was just instilled in me, like, oh, this is, you know, this is light skin, or this beautiful curly hair and all that type of stuff. And I grew out of that. Um, and that, that's something that my grandparents, you know, kind of just put in me. And, and one specifically, she just, you know, kind of just praised whiteness a lot. And, you know, I just found myself like, you know, trying to get away from that. So when Kodak Black says something dumb like that, I'm just like, girl, this is an opportunity for us to educate and have a conversation about colorism. So true enough, it is trash. He's an idiot. But let's take this, let's take all that negativity and turn it into a positive conversation and talk about it and let everybody open up. I'm glad that Emma Rose said something about it. I'm glad that everybody else said something about it. Because there are some times that we can uplift and educate because that's the only way we can continue to grow as people if we have these conversations. I need a dark skinned woman or and a light skinned woman together with y'all pals combined to just go in and slap him. Like one slap, then another slap, and hopefully his teeth will be straight. One of y'all just take one of those like 
you stole something out of my purse slaps. Like, do one of those. Like, I need one of y'all to, like, this was the rent money slap. I need one of those, like, girl, rent was due on the 4th, girl, okay? You need to pay it today. Today is the 3rd. I don't want to be right here popping fireworks and then they popping eviction notices on my dough. I need somebody to slap the mess out of him. I don't even want to curse because I don't even want him to turn into an ugly monster. I think Kodak Black has some beautiful skin. I think he is an idiot. I love his skin complexion, okay? I, I think it's beautiful, but I just think he just makes me look at him with a magnifying glass and just how ignorant he is. It just makes me not attracted to him, period. Okay? True enough, he has an interesting face, okay? He's interestingly constructed. But, you know, his skin complexion is beautiful. And hopefully, I thought I thought that maybe he will be an intelligent person or at least know something. But you no, know, he not only hates his blackness, he don't even value his life, okay? He doesn't even value women, period. So that's not somebody that I'm interested in. I'm glad I don't listen to his music. Y'all can just take him back to jail, okay? And the next person out here that even says free Kodak Black gonna get slapped because it was a lot of y'all sitting here thinking that he didn't need to be in jail. He's trash. And I hate that Cardi B even named her little single or album or mixtape or whatever somewhat like his name. Like, I hate that because he just needs to, somebody needs to educate him. One of our black sisters, y'all educate him. I don't know, find him. Y'all been doing a good job. Y'all been doing a good job. Y'all been educating. Y'all been, you know, doing it. Y'all the educators. I talked to a beautiful black woman this weekend. She was an educator. She wasn't educated. She's, and it just shows you that black women are not only educating. They are here in the business thing. They are here doing it. Okay, they are here doing the activism. They are here doing um, in the health the fields and stuff. Are here taking care of. I, I just of uh, my black gay brothers and sisters. Like I just don't understand how someone like Kodak Black is right here saying demonizing foolish men. Yes. Who's giving him a platform? I hate it. But anyway, y'all already know what time it is. It's time for another King of Reese TV video. This weekend was lit, okay? BT Wars, okay? <laughs> I don't know the only reason why I'm saying it because, you know, lit is something that I guess Viacom owns and BT owns. <laughs> but this weekend, uh, me and Adrian had a chance to host a panel discussion from top to bottom. A lot of you all came out and supported. My girl Ariana came. Honey, she taught us a little something about BDSM. It was cute. Oh my God, Glenn came, Glennon came, uh, Fonz was there. It, like, it was just so much energy, so many positive people. Um, shout out to my guy, D'Angelo, that was there, um, who was on the panel as well. My guy, Ronnie, who I love so much. Jamie, um, beautiful, beautiful people, and my guy, Richard. Uh, we came up with this idea, and it was just, you know, just growing. We was just taking stuff apart and working on some stuff, and it was just a beautiful experience. So, shout out to all y'all that came. I did record some of it, so I'm going to have to edit it. I'm going to put it up on the channel and let y'all check it out. We had a conversation about sex, relationships, everything. And it was a lot of going on with some positive perspective. It was some stuff that was problematic that we addressed and you know some stuff and was even talking on my week so this weekend was an amazing experience for me it just taught me that I have a lot of more stuff to do for the community a lot of things that I want to do for the community and I want to just continue to use my voice to educate and, and using all these resources and stuff that I've had to just do some stuff for the community like I think it's very very important and I appreciate you all for keeping me on a level and say Justin you need to be doing something else you need to be doing this I just don't want to be stuck doing YouTube videos and I refuse to do that. As a matter of fact, I don't call myself a YouTuber, I call myself a content creator, okay? I just don't create videos on YouTube, I create other things, so. Without you all, with my J's, right here, we about to be at 90,000 subscribers, so it's y'all that's out here making it happen for me and having me do all this work for the community, for everybody, and supporting my family, so shout out to y'all. But let's get into the mess, because it's time for some mess. So first thing first, I'm the realist. I'm like Kendall and Kylie, whatever y'all name is, the Jenners, the Kardashians, the, the KKK, whatever y'all want to call them this week. Y'all are so simply annoying to me. I'm tired of talking about y'all. I'm tired of... I, I really want to hand y'all a Pepsi and hope y'all choke at this point because y'all just don't seem to stop. So, um, I don't even know the two girls. I'm not even going to say their names no more, okay? I don't want y'all names to come up at all. Both of them decided that they were going to make uh, some shirts and they were going to use um, prominent um, black rap artists. Um, Biggie and Tupac and they was gonna put their face on there. Like, girl, if that wasn't the epitome of whitewashing, y'all made some shirts with Tupac and Biggie on it and then y'all put y'all face on there. And, like, and you selling it for white consumption. I just, <laughs> why y'all 
doing today, sis? What is y'all doing? What is y'all purpose? Like, I just think y'all just here to just make black people angry, girl. And at this point, screw a million man march. We need to million man jump right into the Kardashians' house. Like, hello, mom, it's Kenya. I need to talk to y'all because it seems like every time it's a mess, y'all just can't get it together. Who is y'all PR person? Who is in charge of the girls? I need to know. Every time y'all, it's a mess. Y'all already sucking black folks up. You're sucking these black men up and y'all right here got them out here like zombies. I feel like I'm in The Walking Dead. You got Kanye West, he right here don't know what's going on. He mad at Jay-Z for, for $3 million. Girl, this man loaned you 20. You need to shut up. I'm tired of y'all. And then black men just keep dating me. These Jimmys, these Kardashians and stuff. What is y'all doing? What, at this point, just tell me that you want some extra money. Just tell me that. I'd rather for you say, hey, bro, I'm just doing it. I'm not doing it for the culture. I'm doing it for the coin. Maybe then I can respect you a little bit, but it's just, I don't see what these folks have done. I don't even understand why a black man would even date any of you all. I don't like y'all at all, girl. I will tell you to the face, I will tell you to your white face that I do not like you. And the next individual I hear or tweet or say some coonish ass shit, Shit, like all the Kardashians and the journalists are not white. I'm gonna slap the coon taste out your mouth. They are white. I'm so tired of you tap dancing. Black folks want to sit here and take up for white folks who don't even recognize you as a black person. That's why you going nowhere real fast. And y'all so interested in continuously supporting this trash folks. Over and over again, I'm still pressed at Kim Kardashian for the way that she treated Jackie. Girl, I don't want to hear none of that mess that you said. Oh, girl, I just I forgot to I tagged her. But Instagram, girl, you could have called Instagram yourself and told him, girl, you all need to fix this. You have that power. Why you around here talking like you didn't you learn how to cook from some Jamaican woman? You got some Jamaican woman that taught you how to cook and you putting the videos of, of curry chicken and, and plantains and stuff. Kim Kardashian, you can barely cook Kanye West, okay? You can't cook nothing for us, girl. I'm not believing the hype. And then you got your mama, Mama Jo, whatever her name is. She around here dancing and stuff. Oh, y'all, y'all are some, I don't like y'all at all. I wanna send y'all to Mars, okay? I want to throw y'all in the atmosphere and just watch the air just be gone because I just want y'all are vacuum. So only vacuum should be in space. The Queen of the Hoover vacuum cleaners. That's what y'all are. Y'all just suck, 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 suck. And I can't wait till y'all get full so we can just dispose of y'all, girl. I'm tired. Matter of fact, I'm tired of talking about y'all right now. I'm done. Back on it. Uh, I think Biggie's mother responded, and I think Tupac's mother's responded as well. I can't remember um, who was the one to respond. Who was? I think it was Biggie's mom. Adrian, was that Biggie's mom or Tupac mom that responded? Oh, Biggie's mama was the one that had responded, girl. Biggie's mama said, girl, I don't know what it is the child trying to do, but I did not authorize that. And I hope she sues the dog shit out of y'all. I hope she walk up to y'all and slap y'all with a lawsuit in your face, girl. And it should stick because y'all built like glue. I'm tired of it. Okay, that was disrespectful for y'all to sit here and think that you have, you know, you know I could have seen if the, some of the, pro, in the money and the coins were going to the folks who, who like the, their, their estate. But y'all just said, you know what, we white, we can do it out, We white, girl, who gonna check us? And then I think um, Perez Hilton did the same stuff with the, the alligator thing. And y'all just, <laughs> I'm not surprised, girl. He's still around here celebrating Christopher Columbus Day like he didn't, like he didn't, I felt the whole new world whole new whiteness and plagues. I'm tired of y'all vampires. You can't say nothing to me. Don't address me. Get like me. Case closed. Next case. Umar Johnson, speaking of why they drag and got the white people together, let me get you together because you just as worse, okay? I'm not calling you Umar. I should call you Kumar Johnson, okay? You right here tapping the ass and yippity yapping on the Breakfast Club talking about so you don't believe in interracial relationships and all this type of stuff. What's them had a question about, you know, if I if my son is dating a white Girl, should I tell? What should I tell him? And then you gonna say, Oh well, you, he shouldn't be dating no man. You can teach him to date black. Da 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 da. Date, date black. Three sixty five black girl. I don't know who you thought you was. Tom Jordan. Three sixty five black. I can understand that, but love is love, and I believe you love whoever you want to. Now, I do think that certain people need to be educated to know that your black is beautiful. Now, I have no problem with interracial relationship. I don't care. That has nothing to do with me. But I do have a problem with. It's people who sit up here and demean black women, black men, and sit up here and say, you know, I don't want to date black folks because y'all got too much going on. Like, that's when I have a problem. That's your excuse for dating 
um, interracial, then that's an issue for me. Okay, but there are a lot of people um, of color who are married to a white person out here doing a lot of stuff in the community. I feel like the universe is just shady, girl. I feel like the universe is like, girl, okay, girl, let me throw some stuff. I just feel like that's how the universe works, and it's no shade. It's just like, this is what it is. It just... Uh, the universe just makes stuff difficult for all of us, okay? She makes it difficult for me, girl. As much as I like to talk, girl, my tongue be tired and everything, honey. She's just shady. It, it is just what it is. But Umar Johnson, you have yet to build any school. You have yet to show us any receipts of you having any type of degrees, any type of thing. You, Tariq she, all y'all, girl, I just want to put y'all on the boat and just push y'all on down. You know, the world is already flat, so we can just push y'all on down, girl. Just have hey, y'all, just walk y'all down because y'all ain't doing anything. Y'all around here, somebody pointed out clearly what y'all do. You just try to educate the folks who want the knowledge but don't have the knowledge, okay? So you take advantage of these individuals who feel like they're getting something because you're preaching. You do the same thing as these preachers doing, preaching the same old tired thing over and over and over again, but not offering any solutions. And the solutions that you're offering are too crazy. I can't trust y'all. I don't trust y'all. And, and, and y'all just, Dr. Umar Johnson, girl, go sit down, honey. And someone made a perfect quote on Twitter and said, how are folks activists and organizers just to only interact with other the activists and organizers. That's all y'all do. It's just a big circle jerk for all y'all. For y'all, so oh my gosh, we're doing something for the community. That's all it is. Y'all ain't really doing anything. You're just printing the community and making some money, girls. Y'all doing the same thing as the Kardashians. That's why I'm not talking about y'all. Oh, let's get to some real issues. <laughs> let's get to the mess, mess. Where it's not really no mess. Y'all know Jay Z dropped his album 444. Okay, I don't know what it is about the four and the stuff with the Carter family, girl. Y'all in the Illuminati. Y'all ain't telling me nothing, girl. Y'all got some stuff going on with the four. Because if you look at the four points, girl, it actually makes six points. I'm just playing. But see how quick that I was able to put some of this stuff together for y'all? <laughs> Jay-Z released his album, and I've heard it. It's so beautiful. Girl, let me stop lying. She's on title. I'm not downloading that. If it was on a CD or a DVD disc, I would listen to it. But, girl, title offers me nothing but confusion, girl. Y'all platform, y'all Whatever y'all layout is horrible. Girl, who designed her? Who designed it? Who made man? Who made title? Okay? It what's so shady, girl? Y'all name is title, but y'all don't even have a title really. <laughs> so many people said, dang. I want to listen to Jay-Z album, but I don't want to go through title and listen to it like that's bad when folks say, you know, this is a sickening album, but I don't want to <laughs> download title to listen to it. Ain't nobody saying about album music. Now, wait, wait, because I know certain people are going to feel a certain type of way. It's like, oh, title is black owned. You know, we should be supporting. Uh, maybe just a little bit, but I'm not doing it just because I'll give it a chance. I gave it a chance and she just doesn't do anything for me. So we're talking about give me out $10 a month for something that, you know, the interface is trash. The music is the same music. Like, it's just I'm willing to do that. But Tyler has not proven their point to me. So, and Apple Music has been that girl, that branding and everything is sickening. And I love it. Like, I, I got access to all this music and all this stuff. And, and Tyler has yet to get it together and make it interesting for folks to get on it. So, I don't know if that takes some money. Uh, maybe, you know, Jay Z needs to start rap rapping about Duce and maybe, you know, throw a couple of deuces in Tyler and maybe it'll work because. She ain't doing nothing for me at this point. Y'all need to just sell her to Sprint or something because y'all around here doing stuff for Sprint. But Jay-Z album, as soon as it comes out, I'll most definitely be listening to it on Apple Music. I heard it's good. I heard it's like 10 tracks. And he talked about a couple issues. He said, you know, I heard him, he said something about having therapy. That's good and highly encouraged it. Matter of fact, I, I, I get some, okay? Some sickening therapy. I, I need it. And more than just, you know... You need some real therapy, y'all. Some real, real therapy. You know, do it. You do some other stuff besides just that. It's nothing wrong with that. But that's not gonna cure everything. I, and as a matter of fact, somebody just broke down to me today and said they're going through some stuff. Hey, I hope they get it together. Lord knows, I hope they get it together. But um, they said Jay Z had sprayed Kanye West a little bit and said, you know, <laughs> ye, okay, what's the tea, girl? What, what you got going on? You are you pressed at me? Are you with your raggedy broke ass? <laughs> they said he loaned ye two, what was it, twenty million dollars? And Kanye ain't around here suing Titus about some girl. Y'all didn't give me my bonus, and you know y'all owe me three million dollars. It's a mess. Oh gosh. Um. Oops. Gee, golly gosh. Kanye West. 
I feel like this is not necessarily a beef with you and Jay. I feel like Jay is just trying to pull you out of the sunken place. Like, you are in the sunken place. Everybody says it. Like, your music has changed. And music does evolve with the artist. But at the same time, of course, it has evolved with the message. Like, the message has changed. You're not really telling us anything too much. And you preach all this blackness, 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 all this type of stuff. But, you know, we're not going to shade you for marrying um, Kim um, Kardashian. We're going to shade you for how you acted since you have married her. Like, it's just, it just seems like it's an issue. And it seems like being are just not interested in their anti-black behavior being associated with their children their daughter anything they're just not interested and we all can tell that Beyonce is not in no way shape or form Billy and Kim Kardashian she don't want them spirits on her children all oh, and so it's been rumored that Beyonce's children's name Beyonce and Jay-Z's children are Rumi and Carter I think Rumi is such a beautiful name Rumi are you am I girl I had tried to go by you know the, the um, domain name and she was already to purchase, honey. They are <laughs> the Carters ain't playing. If I tried to buy RumiCarter.com, I was gonna get. I was gonna sell it to Jay. About I need 0.5 million. Okay, I need. Well, girl, I need some girl. I have to be careful. They with the Illuminati. They might make a. Um, they might put me in the sunken place with Kanye West, girl. Not me, girl. I don't know if you all heard this story about a valedictorian in Mississippi, um, who had to share her title with a white classmate. Um, when I first read it. Girl, they said it was in Mississippi. I was not surprised at all. So Jasmine Shepard is her name, and she was the first black valedictorian for um, Shepard High School in Greenville, Mississippi. Now they're saying that Greenville, Mississippi is segregated. The school systems is still segregated. And even a judge said, girl, y'all need to get it together. Like, this makes no sense. 50 years after Brown versus the Board of Education, and y'all still got y'all still got this stuff going on. Like, what's y'all need to fix it? Mississippi is still dealing with stuff and still letting this stuff continue to go on. So y'all have this woman, y'all have this, y'all have this valedictorian share her title with this white girl. Y'all should have been honored that y'all had the first black valedictorian. Like, so you should have said, like, girl, he's doing it. Like, y'all should have researched it. Now, I need to see the receipts, but at the same time, I don't trust the receipts from y'all because y'all have been able to manipulate this system and receipts and stuff, so I don't know, girl. I don't trust y'all. If anything, I don't trust white folks with no fax machine, copy machine, because all of this is copying. Y'all so used to doing that, honey. It's already a, a white piece of paper, so y'all already winning with that. So y'all can just print whatever words and stuff y'all want to be on there, honey. Y'all so trash. The family is suing. They said, girl, y'all did our daughter wrong, and we're going to sue. And I don't blame them. I hope they sue, because that's embarrassing for her to have to share a title like that. Now, the girl, Jasmine, Miss Jasmine said that she's cool. The white girl, she's cool. But, you know, they're saying that she didn't have the highest grade point average than Jasmine. She didn't have a higher grade point average than Jasmine. So, Jasmine should have been the only valedictorian. And y'all have to, and, and, and that's so trash that she has to walk, like, they said she even had to walk behind her. Like, we're still living in the 1960s in, in some parts of the United States. And y'all supposed to say, make America great again. That's what I think about when y'all say that. Y'all say, make America great again. That's what I think about. At this point, I really don't even care what Cheeto and Chief does. I, I just gave up because we deserve everything. White people deserve everything they're getting right now. So I, whatever that man is that's in the White House, I I, don't, I refuse to say his name. Uh, you know, tweeted some some mess. Like it's, it's July the Fourth weekend, and this grown man who is our, supposed to be our president has tweeted a gif of CNN being beat by him. Um, in a WD, uh, in a WWE type fight. Like, what? Is, what is this? Is this Black Twitter? Like, is Black Twitter um, influence the president? Like, what? <laughs> And, and influence him the wrong way like is he a stand page or something like if that was President Obama y'all white folks would have had a field day you understand me y'all would have had a field day y'all would have had a field day this man is the image of everything that has to do with whiteness white privilege and white supremacy that man sitting here has, has done everything in the first six months of his presidency that Obama could even do within the first term okay this man had two terms this black man had two terms and y'all gave him hell. This man has given us hell in six months. Gave the hundred, gave the country hell. And then you, you white people, y'all around, y'all just like, it's okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all living in a lie. Y'all know that, don't it? Like y'all just like, you know, girl, it is what it is. He telling y'all how it is. Okay, girl, if that's what y'all want to, that's what y'all want to go for. And Marshall Blackburn, it don't matter what this man does. Like we just, you know, we don't. Maybe we're not understanding what he said. That's not what he meant. But girl, he has said some of the time and clarified what he meant with some stuff. And y'all still won't understand that. 
So what's the point? So we've reached the end of our road, girl. I have let my thoughts be heard. I'm upset as you all can say, girl. Even after having a successful week weekend of just, you know, sickening stuff going on. I had a wonderful time. Me and Adrian party so hard for the girl. My thighs are still going out. Oh, some of y'all, <laughs> I was getting it on, on, on Snapchat and Instagram, so you ain't following me, girl. You ain't getting the tea. You ain't getting it. You ain't living, okay? You can follow me on King of Reads, King underscore of underscore Reads, and that's on Instagram. And on Snapchat, it's JustinJ1232. Make sure you're liking my Facebook page and all that type of stuff, girl. Make sure you subscribe, honey. We almost at 90,000 subscribers. Make sure you turn that bell on, Miss You. YouTube, honey, miss subscribe button. You got to turn the bell on to get every video, honey. Some of you know, even when you're subscribed, only the videos that you really like show up. But you, if you're not getting every video that I post, um, the notification, that's probably why you need to turn the bell on. Because I got the bell on for my favorite YouTubers, okay? Make sure you're checking out my other videos. I got some other recaps for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I got some other tea going on for y'all. Make sure y'all checking out. Make sure you're also checking out kingofreeze.com. And make sure you're getting your ears ready for, for the Culture Podcast, honey. Y'all already know what the website is, for the culturepodcast.com. Stay tuned, and I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye.